It was around 1941. We heard rumors that they were going to build air bases around here. December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. At the beginning of World War II, the senior leaders of the country knew that we were going to need a large air force. The first all-American bombing operation against Nazi-occupied Europe begins in England. The thing I remember about the war is the bonding that takes place when there's only 10 of you that go to work every day. I thought it was a very large place. I had never been on air fields before. And do your job every day. I remember we used to stand and watch when the planes come in and count, see how many are coming back. Everybody sweated out. And survive every day. We lost two of our planes. And the two planes that went down were shot down by flak. Something happens that will never disconnect. One of the objectives is to assure that the deeds of the men who served during World War II won't be forgotten. Most of us like to go to a place where we will learn more about ourselves than we thought we knew. And that's why we have Harvard. The thing about it is when the Americans come over and they show appreciation, they love it that we're keeping the memories alive of what their families, friends, relatives did during the war. It was never clear what had happened to my Uncle Bob and what caused the crash. But that started us on this desire to find out what had happened. There are albums and albums of photographs. And in flipping through the books, I look down at a page and I see a photograph of my mother and my father that I've never seen before. My father never talked about his experiences during the war. He passed away when I was 15. I had always wanted to visit Hardwick. And here was a perfect opportunity. You start feeling a sense of how the vets felt during the war. The control tower was over there. Yep, uh -huh. the control yeah. tower. And that adds a whole nother layer of excitement. It's hard to sum up how a return to Hardwick will impact somebody, but it brings the past alive in a way that you can't do in any other way. It's extraordinary. The generations that come have to feel like they can understand it and they can respect it. If they don't do either, it's gone. And it's too important to support and maintain than it is to just let it go.